In our Parsha, we learn about a skin affliction called tsara'at, which is translated as leprosy. It's a spiritual affliction that can afflict one's skin, one's clothing, and one's home. It gets so bad that it spreads all the way into one's home, and therefore the Torah says we have to destroy the home after the Kohen announces that it is contaminated. The simple explanation is that we want to destroy it in order to start anew because it was plagued by that tzarat, meaning it's, a, it's an outcome of our actions, of our behaviors. We've spoke Lashon Hara, we've been haughty, therefore that affliction spread all the way to our homes. It impacted everyone around us. We have to destroy that home, destroy the walls in order to start anew. However, there are two other explanations which which emerge from the Pasuk Lamed Dalet, which says, Ki eretz kana'an, asher lachem natati God will place the nega tzarat. Meaning it's not just because of our actions that the, that the plague of tzarat happens to our homes, but rather, there are other reasons. Hashem's going to place it. So what's the reason why Hashem will put the tzarat on the home? in order for us to destroy it. The Zohar says that those homes that we were inhabiting were homes of idol worshiping of the Canaanites beforehand. Therefore, Shem wanted us as a favor, as a kindness, to destroy those homes so we could start anew. Another explanation appears in the Midrash, which is that Hashem, that Hashem wanted to enable Am Yisrael to benefit from good that was hidden in the walls of those homes. What was hidden? Treasures of the Canaanites were hidden in the walls because they were afraid. Uh, that the Jews would capture their treasure when they came into the land. So they hid them all in the walls. And when Hashem brought us into the land and we conquered the land, Hashem commanded us to destroy the homes that had Sarat. Through that, we discovered those treasures that were hidden there. We could benefit from them. The lesson behind these two explanations is that Hashem has a plan behind destruction. Destruction, we don't have a, we don't have, Judaism has, doesn't have the answer for why bad things happen. However, we do have an answer with what to do with destruction. Through destruction, we can get stronger, we can grow, we can do tshuva, we can grow and become better people. We can find treasures of the, of, of spiritual treasures and, and inner strength that can emerge from the tough times. That's what's hinted at uh, through finding the treasures in the wall. And similarly, that's what's hinted at in Hashem asking us to destroy uh, those houses in order to remove all the idol worshiping, remnants of idol worship. It's for our benefit. So good things can emerge from destruction. That's something to think about during these times. Something to think about heading into the Seder Pesach. The word Seder means order. There's an order to destruction. There's an order to why bad things happen. We don't always understand them. However, we trust that Hashem has a plan and we search as Jews to find meaning, to find strength, and to do tshuva amidst destruction and tragedy and struggles that we experience in our lives. Shabbat Shalom.